Hi everybody, it's Rachel here from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube and I also go by the same name Scrappy Happy over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. Thank you to all my new subscribers who have joined me also. I am a Canadian scrapbooker and paper crafter who loves sharing projects with others. This particular project, believe it or not, um, is made using products from the Dollar Tree. So this hutch uses this palette piece from the Dollar Tree. It uses this tray piece from the Dollar Tree and uses two of these drawers from the Dollar Tree. And you can just see they're stacked and glued together on there. So I have seen those same products at Michael's here in Canada, but they are so much more expensive than what you get at Dollar Tree. So if you can find them there, um, go for it. So this is what I'm calling my Fairy Sweet Coffee Shop. This project was inspired by my crafty BFF, Christian from Christian's Crafty Adventure. She made a hutch like this using the doodle bug made with love collection and I didn't have that collection but I really like the project and I have set a goal for myself this year to make coffee shop a coffee themed projects once a month I'm because I have so much coffee stuff and at until very recently I had hardly used much of it so today was the day I was going to complete this coffee shop project so I'll just kind of talk you through everything that was used and I hope you really like it. So you can see it is decorated on the side with pattern paper on each side to decorate it. But here on the top, it's just the plain paint. Now I did use a dark purple um, craft paint. I think it was Grape Craft Smart that I believe I purchased at Michael's. I just had it in my stash. I was a little hesitant as I was starting to paint because it did take three coats to paint this. Uh, that it was going to be too dark. However, I knew that I wanted to use a lot of the doodlebug white background papers that I thought would just pop and sure enough I really feel like this um, was able to happen in this particular project. So this is all using doodlebug fairy garden paper um, and stamps and ephemera and stickers and then these little coffee cups came from uh, AliExpress and I've used a few doodle bucks, do, uh, sorry about that, doodle bug stamp sets to create the items inside. So I have used the Made with Love stamp set for the blender. The milkshake and the gumball machine came from a Simon Says and the cookies in the background there. Um, I don't know if you can see the cookies very well. Uh, cookies came from the Simon Says Doodlebug exclusive stamp set and then the pie and the cinnamon buns came from the Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice Collect stamp set. This came from a Valentine's stamp set. Is it made? No, what would it be called? Love Notes, I think, perhaps. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then all the stamps and all the ephemera up here um, is from the Fairy Garden stamp set. And I am just loving using my Uhuhu markers and my stamps to build customized ephemera to fit my projects. And it's just really neat how Doodlebug stamp sets from all different um, collections can be colored to coordinate with the paper. So up here, I'll just maybe zoom in. Um, up here, these, you can't probably see it, but is um, I use transparency to attach these from behind. And then at the back, to do that flower, I've just done straw here straws to attach this ephemera that came with the chit chat and I also think it came in the odds and ends fairy garden collection set too and so these drawers actually open they could hold handmade ephemera if you wanted and on the front it is the knob for the fairy garden set is using uh, wooden beads that I also purchased from the Dollar Tree. And so you can just have a close up. 
You can see the coffee cups and the layers. And then I used foam board to make sure that all the images stamped up. And I think I forgot to say where these particular, these two stamp sets um, came from. And that is also from the Made With Love uh, collection. I'll just tip it up there so you can see. So this was an extremely fun project to make. You could use all different paper collections to create this. And um, I think my daughter's going to love it. <laughs> She's probably going to want to play with it. But this project is for me to have displayed in my newly transformed scrap room. So I really hope you enjoyed this project share video. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.